Hey, welcome to Whaler Sports TV. Dick Herman here getting ready for the start of the girls game. Dennis Cameron will be uh, calling it Gino Gang on camera. Before we get started, I'd like to mention some of our fine sponsors who bring you the Whaler uh, Winter Season. Sun Island Fuel, Coleman Coleman Insurance, Don Allen Auto Center, Harbor Fuel, Island Lumber, Island Pharmacy, Kitty Murtaugh, the Downey Plate, Joe Packy CPA, the Islander Package Store, the Seagrove, Boys and Girls Club, Steamship Authority, Beauty Bar, Jewelers Gallery, Rick's Paint and Maintenance, Cam Appliance, JB Drywall, Express of the Go, Fast Food, Nantucket Seafood, Hawthorne House, Ryder Electric, Outdoor Power, Billy Built Automotive, Cottage and Castle, Nantucket Ice, Nantucket Electrical Contractors, Killing Real Estate, Martin Gore Painting, Cowboys Meat Market, Santa's Rubbish Removal. Sushi by Yoshi, Randy Halford, Heating and Cooling, Island Fencing, Island Carpets, Valero and Sons, Ladybird Lingerie, Scrim, Shoes Handle and Gallery, Fawcett Man Plumbing and Heating, Nantucket Estate Jewelry, The Boathouse, Fairgrounds Restaurant, Pumpkin Palm Farm, Something Natural, Island Flooring, Champion Rentals, Island Variety, Sherbet Management, The Homestead, Nantucket Health Club, the UPS Store, BPC Architect, Just Do It, Two Sport Fishing, The Dog Wash, Michael Wilson, Attorney, Artistic Towel Install, Keepers Restaurant, Nantucket Carpet Clean, Woodens Island Seafood, and the new guy on board, Nantucket Folk Art and Wood Carving. Remember to watch those ducks when you're going by Nantucket Folk Art. And uh, Dennis, this uh, should be a pretty good one. How you doing tonight, buddy? I'm doing well, Dick. Uh, yeah, it should be a pretty good game. Um, and we, we, we think it's probably going to be a game that's going to uh, go for the preeminence in the uh, league that, that the, the Whalers are in. So. Yeah, the winner tonight yeah. takes a step, step forward. They make a statement. Yeah, Nantucket's coming in 1-0. and Falmouth uh, uh, Academy coming in 2-0. So one team is going to get their first loss, but as you say, uh, probably two of the favorite teams in the league. So whoever wins tonight will stay in first place all by themselves in the league. And some of these faces on the uh, Falmouth uh, Academy team, we, we recognize from last year. So uh, they have some veterans, and uh, they uh, beat us. And the coach, as you said, uh, he's been uh, coaching for a while, too. Yeah. Listen, listen. Real good guy. He came up here and I was talking to him and uh, had the lineup already. And so. Look sharp at that tie on. I, uh, did you, did you, wear, did you ever wear a tie? You had a tie on. <laughs> did you ever wear a tie when you coached? <laughs> I did in the early days. In the early days. Yeah. No, I did. I, th I yeah. did. Now, Dick, uh, when was the last time you had a tie well, on? You, you, you know, you know everything else. Either. Uh, you should know that. I, I had one on once. Yeah, probably. I'm trying to think, probably for a funeral, probably going to a funeral. I had one on, yeah, a couple of times. I will wear one Christmas Eve because. Uh, you will? My, my, only because my my uh, grandson last year gave me a Christmas tie. Oh, you as, had to put as, it a, as a present. And I, I sort of just put it around my neck that night. You know? Now, you, you remember but how to tie him? I do remember how. I, I know how to do two knots the regular knot and uh, Windsor. Windsor. Right. I, know, I know how to do the Windsor, yeah. Nice. And if you do the Windsor, you got to start way, way down because you get that extra lap around, extra yep. lap around. But uh, no, I, I, I know two knots. Yes, I know two. I don't know how to tie a bow tie, but I do know how to tie a regular tie. Now, have you ever two had a bow tie way. on? I used to have uh, a uh, clip-on bow tie. Yeah. And I used to. And I used like to have. You, like if you were. A, a, but when had we a tux on. Yeah, but when we first when we first taught. Uh, you remember that you had you had to wear a tie. You dressed up every day. Yeah, you had to wear a tie every day, and I can remember uh, when I was uh, down here single, single for two years. I, I always had a clip on tie ready if I was running late to get to school. And I always remember that the kids caught on and would say to me, "Oh, you're running late today, huh? You got your clip on tie." All right, we have the starting lineups going here. Number 30, Malika Phillips. We had the 
dad in school. Did I see that? Huh? Yeah, yeah. Head forward, number 21, George Perry. I think. So far, I'm four for four. Maria No. Four out of five girls on the starting lineup. We're going to talk about how they uh their dads in school and some, no, of, they, some of their moms in school. <laughs> That's scary. The Play ball. Yeah, that's what they say. Play ball. All right, so uh, looking forward to this. I, I, to seeing Fal Falmouth Academy. I think it's going to be a good game. Well, I think we have a pair of sisters in the we both, Academy both them, line. That sounds and, and, like and, and, a pair of sisters, I believe, in the uh, Nantucket. Yeah, Monique and uh, Malika Phillips. And we have a. Uh, a male and a female uh, referee. Mm -hmm. That's getting more common. Yeah. As uh, in the girls' sports. And even even even, even male sports. Even in the men's sports. Yeah. yeah. As I said that, I'm trying to think. Do we ever have one on a football game yet? I don't. I don't know if I've seen one on a football game. High or school. Not. High school football. Game. I don't think so. But that doesn't mean that. That doesn't mean there's one around somewhere. Yeah. As long as you can pass the test, you can uh, be a ref. Oh, there's a little push right there. Oh, Inadvert, right Inadvert push. Found on Jadalyn Harold. Yeah, Inadvert push there. She, she was trying to uh, get to the ball. Both girls took a little stutter step. One fell down. Oh, underneath. <laughs> Falmouth Academy has a 2 0 record in the travel. No basket. The call was made. The call was made by the outside official. The inside official. It looked like she was getting ready to put us in a free throw line, but it wasn't her call. Could have been. Okay, Monique Phillips, uh, we, we, we saw her play a lot last year. Yeah. She's very quick. Nantucket's one for one on shooting. Falmouth's all for two. Center, 23. She's, she's playing way outside. Don't look like a true center. Nice rebound. Are you going to keep track of the rebounds tonight? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Gina's got to help him up there. We should have with our help. <laughs> we got no help. Perry, no. We got, we got to talk to human resources about that. <laughs> we need a scorekeeper. Maybe we'll just put it out there. Does any 
Any uh, anybody that wants to join us in the booth and uh, keep some stats for us, uh, they're welcome. Yeah, that'd be great. A great experience for for an individual. If it's a high school uh, kid, boy or girl, they can put it on their resume. I remember when when I was coaching at the end, one of the best added that did a lot of stats for the football team was Cam Gardner. She was very serious about it. And she did a, she did the stats. All right. Found Academy is a little slow getting going here. Number 23, Currents. Uh, she's listed as a center, but she hasn't, she hasn't gone in the blue yet. She's just been out beyond the arc the whole game so far, which I find interesting. Now the coach is going to talk to him. Maybe she's not supposed to be out there that far in that long. Fouls on number 12, Marina Cass. Number 11 on the line is Jane Early. Makes the first. These free throws brought to us by Don Allen Auto Center. New and used vehicles. Check out the 2017s. Few left and the new ones coming in the 2018. Can you believe that, Dennis? It's wow. almost 2018. Woo! Miss. The chip ball's going to stay with Neotucket. We're talking about the next time we do a girls game, and that will be in 2018. <laughs> yes, it will. We're going to cover the boys game this week. The boys are playing Abington this Saturday. Right now it's on a uh, scheduled for 3 o'clock start. Jim Perry. Balls on the floor. Yep. We're going to jump ball. Perry, Perry put the ball down yep. in a dangerous place. Yep. When you get the ball down low on the post, you don't put it on the ground. No wow. travel there. No foul either. That's a good hit. They're letting the play get. That's a travel. Well, that's a foul. Offensive foul. Wow. That's a wild dick. That's a big wild because you had it as a travel. I had it as a foul going the other way, but the official, the one, the one, the one in charge, has it for the foul against Miyazaki. Oh, Dick, I gotta ask you. Fire away. What do you what do you think about the Yankees' new acquisition? Unbelievable. I, 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 I was so upset. Well, she hit the three point, that's why she's out there. I was so upset when it, when it happened because I had no inclination that, that they were even in the uh, discussion. You know? I knew we weren't in the discussion. But I I, I heard A, B, and C, three other schools. All right, Jalen Harrow connects in the discussion. And all of a sudden, Saturday afternoon, I think it was when he started breaking that. Uh, he was going to the Yankees, I just couldn't believe it. So the score is six to four. And that foul is gonna be fouls on Jordan Perry. And that will be a shooting foul. Number one on the number four on the line. Ainsley. Sammy Wolf for the game number 20 for uh, Falmouth Academy. And 20. A little bit off. 22 checks in for the Nantucket. I don't have one on my roster here. I think it's 22. Do you have a 22 on your roster? No. I think it's Paige Alderson. Yeah, which could, which could, which could get a technical Paige, foul. Paige right? is 23. Who? Paige is 23, but you're right, he's Paige. Just get, just that, get that the wrong jersey. That, that could be a technical foul if somebody picks it up. Besides us. <laughs> That's amazing that we picked it up. <laughs> <laughs> it's still early. It's still early in the night. <laughs> About seven o'clock, we don't pick anything up. <laughs> <laughs> this game goes into overtime. I'll have, I'll have a nap at the end of the fourth quarter. <laughs> All right, nice rebound. Right now, uh, the attackers benefiting from Falmouth Academy's poor shooting. 
Falls on Ainsley Ramsey. Bob Thompson down there. Old friend of ours. He used to be our cameraman here for a while. Back in the day. Many, many moons ago. Three threes for the Wills. Grab the wrist, foul on 30, I believe. Monique going fast, and no foul. Good block. Yep. We're having the first quarter portion of the first quarter brought to us by Santos Roberts Rule. We clean up the islands. Go Will and Santos. Malik could try to move on the baseline. And Harold again. Roberts should pick up with the rebound. And Harold keeps the ball alive. The Nantucket has a health and uh, height advantage in us, and they're using it to their advantage right now. Yeah, yeah. I got it for two. Yeah. You don't want your starters picking up two fouls in the I first quarter. I think you got to get her out of there, Dad. Yeah. She's thinking One long and hard about it, but nobody's moved from the bench yet. 143 left. First period. 9-7 Whalers. So a timeout called there by uh, Belmont Academy. And uh, we'll listen in to see what he says, but... He's basically going to be happy if the score is only 9 to 7. He's got his kid at the free throw line. So, Dick, the Red Sox have to go out and they have to, they have to bump they, up they, the two. They have to get two people. I think they're going to do something only because what the Yankees have done. I know they're going to get Hosman. They want to, they want, they're going to get Hosman. Because. If they don't do nothing, then the fan base is going to be upset, and they'll, yeah, they'll, turn, gotta, they'll gotta, turn in a hurry. We're going to match them. Uh, you know, this, this combination coming in next year is uh, going to arrive when, when we were teenagers, the, the Mantle Maris, 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 the Mantle yeah. Maris situation. Only even three of them, Sanchez, the catcher. Oh, yeah. Well, I, I think... I think I heard the stat, and I don't know who the four of them are, but it's probably the guy you just mentioned, plus Judge, plus Stanton, one more. The Yankees have four guys whose home runs last year were more than the, the Red, Red Sox, Sox as a team. Yeah, yeah. Okay, here we go. Early on the line, she's got two shots. This is the first. Her own coach, Eister, that's... That's not good. No, it's not. <laughs> and that's your dad. <laughs> she gets the second one. All right. Nine eight. That'll be a barn burner, Dick. Paige Alvin. Oh. All right, Paige. From the wing. Alvin with the bucket. Come on, Kenny, what's that? Go! 
Wow, nice shot there. First time she went into the uh, the paint dentist and she does a little turn around jump up that uh, rival, rival any college player. Will is still have a one point lead. 11 to 10. Less than a minute left in the uh, period. Quarter. They, they go two for one here, yeah. They get the shot off short. Phillips, number 30. They're going to get a two for one situation. Coach is furious that she got that look. Now he's taking it out on the players on the bench. Oh, that reaching, that was a bad one. Bad, bad foul there. And that almost gave Falmouth a two. No, it's an on shooting foul. So yeah, they're getting close though. Now the, now, uh, the shot clock will be off. One, two, three, four, oh, she five, is gonna six, shoot. seven. She is going to shoot. The next one is bonus. Oh. She is shooting. Yeah. Sammy Wolf. And the both no. No. What could go up, but didn't go. And Cash. No. Off a little bit. Looks like it's gonna hurry, it's gonna hurry. Alright, yeah. yeah. the end of the third quarter, Rams hold a 14 to 11 lead. Portion of the first period, Bronto by Bronto Spike Keepers. Keepers is open. Thursday through Monday. Check out Keepers Restaurant, five Amelia Drive. So a uh, a good first period for the Whalen, but they only got a three-point lead, guys. And I say only a three-point lead is that I didn't think Falmouth Academy played very well. Yeah, they did. And yeah. And Nantucket, Nantucket did you know. get the 14 points, but it's only a three-point lead. And uh, but on the other side, Falmouth Academy, I think, has to be uh, happy with the result. Well, they know they can play better. Uh, uh, Malika Phillips, number 30, had, had we really we had a score with six, but she also has two free two fouls. Two fouls. So they may lose her really quickly. Well, he didn't. He didn't. The uh, she. I got the coach Larry Ryan didn't sit her down with the two fouls in the first quarter. Yeah. I have a feeling that. Uh, She's going to come out and start this quarter, but if she picks up that third, you almost got to sit it down. You have to sit it down sit for, it down while, for while. the uh, rest of the half. Yeah. So, now they, we always come out with the starting lineup. That, uh, Paige, Al Albertson, oh, Paige Albertson is still in there. Phillips. Good steal. Remember the carry trying to force it up in there. Then he get it to go call. Kendall, Kendall Chris, number 30, uh, 23 for our Falmouth Academy is a real player. No, nice nice uh, passing. No. Will has done a good job working it in. Yeah. Going to finish it off, but Falmouth Academy uh, falls down on the, with the rebound, so Nantucket gets a new shot clock. Yeah, nice move on the baseline. Fouls on Becky Butler. And then Tucker shooting two with a three point lead here in the second quarter. Forces the second quarter, brought this by the senior. 
Check out the sea grill for Nantucket's freshest seafood. All right, so we got uh, and nice grill. Nantucket has the biggest uh, lead of the day. He's at it's five, sixteen to eleven. Dick, look up, uh, look up. What year is uh, Malika? Right? Monique, number two, yeah, the senior Malika. guy. She moves well with the basketball. Jalen, no. Oh, oh, I didn't notice this. That's yeah, the assistant coach is Mark Phillip. I saw him over at the bench earlier and said, hey, I, I didn't even know he played basketball. Yeah, he was the assistant coach. Yeah. Lauren, Lauren Moran, third year coach of the girls. Mark's the assistant. Cassie Moran is the uh, JV's coach. Nice move by the girl that fell down, Dennis. She didn't try to pick the ball up. It would have been an automatic travel. She just rolled it off her fingertips and she picked up an assist. She ain't really there. <laughs> Underneath. And we got a, we got a push. Ooh, oh, that's bad. Wow. That's bad. That's gonna hurt. And the sub was already up there, Dennis. Could you believe that? That's gonna hurt. That really hurt because Laurie had the sub up at the table already, who was coming in for her, and she commits the foul before and the push pushes. Uh, That was a cheap one, cheap foul. Cheap on cheap. two pots, cheap that it was called and cheap that you do it, you know? Yeah. So I, I had a basketball coach who told to me, you have five fouls, use them wisely. <laughs> I've been playing with you a few times, you I did that. I don't want any reaching fouls on you, Herman. <laughs> Hammer somebody. Good box out at that time. Three yeah. on one. Oh! She lost the dribble. Yeah, lost the dribble. I don't, I don't know if she was getting fancy or it just got away from I her. I think she got fancy. Trying to get it behind the back. And oh thank God. Monique Phillips with the three. Off the glass. I don't think she called it. The whales are living uh, on the three-point line today. They are. Academy is doing a good job working for the shot. They just kind of finished the shot. Oh. Another foul. 34 on the Atoke. Madison Bird. Madison's first entry on the score sheet is a foul. Madison's only a sophomore, too. Okay, Jalen Harold comes out. Number 25 for. Jalen's one of the co-captains, along with Monique Phillips. <coughs> Excuse me. Becky Butler the shot and missed it. <laughs> nice pass. pass. Oh. Good job by the wheel of setting yeah. that up. Yeah. Put her finish the easy shot at the end. I don't like this, Dennis. What's that? What goes up at the scoring table there? Who? Number 30. Really? Malika Phillips. Oh, what a drive by number 11. This ought to be interesting. Yeah. Nice face. Nice face. Nice nice Malika Phillips. Cleared it. Wales increased their lead to six. Their new biggest lead of the day. Oh, number 12, throw the slot. I love it. 
Phillips. And Malika Phillips is heading back in. Get anybody to follow this shot. The number 12 did. All right, 3.33 left. Second period. Wow. Buries it. Nails it. Here's the shooter. Shoot, huh? Yeah. He's the scorer. Come on, come on, I'm ball. Shoot. On the floor. Nice job. Marina Cash. Underneath, nice pass. Buries it. That's their offense, Dennis. And if they stop burying them, Nantucket's going to be in trouble. And Nantucket answers. Burn. Who got that? Burn. Wide open underneath. Nobody was covering Madison, but she made them pay. Now the coach is going to call a timeout. He's very upset with that. They get close and then uh, they fall back. Um, Falmouth Academy has never been ahead of this game. He's talking to his team right now by saying, you uh, got to be a little bit more intense in there going after these loose balls. And the attacker's getting a lot of the loose balls and making them pay on the end of it. Listen to the coach, Dennis. Saying just what I've been saying there. He says we're getting a lot of easy shots inside. We're just not making them. He wants to keep it going, and he he wants to build up the uh, fouls. He's, uh, He's doing a good job of that. He he is. Is. He has to work on the fouls because that becomes that becomes a. Uh, a fourth quarter advantage if you can get a lot of people, a lot of people in foul trouble or get somebody fouled out of the game. Right now Nantucket has uh, Malika Phillip playing with three fouls. You don't want her to pick yeah, up Yeah, I mean, that's, I, I, I'm, it, you're playing with fire, Jalen Arrow with that. Right? A reach in foul. Never a good Those one. Those are the worst kind, Dick. Never a good one. Chances of making a steal or getting the ball away from somebody when you reach around their back are pretty, pretty nil. Kendall Cruins, with that, made the first of the two. We're in a one on one situation bonus. And makes the second. Makes the make, second. Make, make, yeah, tuck a penny. Those two free throws brought to you by Fairgrounds Restaurant. Oh, turnover for the Whalers. On a uh, pass behind the player. Now the game has been close all the way, Dick. Well, the academy can tie it up with a three-pointer here. Yeah. Coach cut the girl down there on the block where he wanted her, and she missed two easy ones. Nice move. It's, oh, what a block. That's Arrow, where, Arrow goes to uh, near Tucker. That's where Bird scored from before. They were waiting for her this time. Harry puts the ball to play. And the arrow's gonna go this time to Falmouth Academy. If Falmouth Academy reaching in, grabbing at the ball, and the Tucker's gonna uh, get rid of it and get it up high right away. Oh! Yeah, we got 
jump ball. Arrow goes back to the puppet. Coach is disgusted with that. Jaden Harrell, no. Good. Good. That's going to be a two in front of the board. Yeah. Rebounding. She's only a sophomore. She does a job on the boards. Yeah. She gets, uh, she's getting tied up too often. She's going to work on that. Well, you get, see, they bring the ball down. They're not strong enough. Keep that ball up over their heads. Off her knee. Looks like she's trying to dribble it too fast and put it off her knee. A lot of speed. Nice, nice move by Pat. Oh, what a steal. What a steal. Oh, she's going to take it herself. Again, Dennis, she, she makes like she's going to bring it behind her back, and I think that took the concentration off. She's going to have brought it right in. Yeah, she and exactly. take, take the body and go for the three point play that yeah, way. No, I mean, Perry likes that three pointer. Good Jim Perry. Oh, uh oh. She called it the wrong way. Yeah, I was, yeah, I was trying to figure out how why the call was. Now, now I understand it. 24 seconds left, Dick. Apparently, no. Nice, Jaden Hell. Nice job. Well, it's a killer by the boys right here. They should hold for the last shot. And there it is. Nice move. Jalen Harrell. So Jalen buries it at the end. And if I can get the lead back to five, we're playing one half here at the John O'Neill Gymnasium. And we're talking about holding a 27 to 22 lead. We'll be back with some halftime right. stats.